Good morning, everyone. It is a um, overcast morning this morning, so I thought I'd come out early into the garden and give you my little insight and thoughts of our vertical garden. This here is the first vertical garden that we got. I got this one for Mother's Day, and I planted it all from transplants. Um, I don't think I started anything from seed in here. I'll take a look, but yeah, it's all started from transplants. Transplants, and I think I potted it all around um, May 13th. And so you can see how they're doing. This is our first vertical garden that we've had. And um, sometimes people said that peppers won't grow. We have staked them up, so we'll see how they do. So far, I am liking it. I'll, I'll give you some features on it. This is the original style right here. And you'll see you have one, two, three, four, five, five containers, and they each have six around them. And with the containers, the buckets are, oh, hi guys. The buckets are about PA big, so you have some deep rooting system in here. I do like that. When you go to water it, you water right here from the top. And with that, I don't know if you can see this. There's three little lines right here, one, two, three. So if you have three, four, or five, you don't have to make it as tall. You can have a short one and maybe put these two off to the side. They'll all do the same thing because there's holes that come down and it drains through. So basically you can have it as tall or as short as you need. But anyways, you just fill the water into there, depending on how many layers you have, the water will drain through. In each section between each tower, there is another bowl or a basin and it has holes in. So what happens is the water comes through here drops down to each container and with the holes it feeds each pocket. I do like that. They do not come with a base because you don't know if you're going to be stationary or, or moving around or rotating. There's different ways you can do it. So we originally, um, this was ordered without the base and we realized it'd be easier to turn it in the sun if we had some wheels on it. So we did go ahead and order the wheels. We have them on here. So I'll show you what that tape looks like. On here you can see that you have three locking wheels. And right there. It also comes with this tube. It's about a 12 inch pipe that comes out and, or tube so you can drain it to wherever you need it to drain. Originally before we put it in the garden we had it on the porch and at that time that's when we wanted to rotate it and, and move it to one corner or another corner of the porch. Since then the dogs kind of got into the lower pockets and we decided let's bring it over here to the garden. Now we put it on a base and the base that I picked up for that is a 24 by 24 inch base. Um, the base of the actual planter is 16 by 16, and that's with the wheels. They're about four inches um, tall, but with that being 16 by 16, I wanted a base large enough so it can rotate without falling off because once you pull it up, it is quite heavy. So now um, we're able to move it and put it wherever and then just lock it down once we have it in the position you like it. So I do like this. This has been a, a great uh, unit for us for the last few um, couple of months. And so um, I do recommend this one. So let me show you the new guy that we got. And after realizing how much more you can add to the garden, I decided to go ahead and get Scott one for Father's Day. So this is the one I chose. It is a combo unit, which I think is great. And I'll show you some features on here. With this one, it stands right about the same height, maybe just a little bit shorter. I don't have a base under this one because it doesn't have the wheels. So there was no need for a base. You do have one, two, three, four, five, six um, actual containers instead of the five. The nice thing about this is their newest design is called the leaf, and the leaf pattern is shorter. And you'll notice that the larger original, I have three original bases on the bottom and three leaf patterns on the top. 
and this is a combo unit that they sell. With the combo unit, you get all six, um, and then you get a couple of accessories with it as well. You do get the base. Usually the bases are additional because they don't know if you're going to need it or not. So you could choose the wheels or you could choose a rotating base. And that's what I did with this one. Now this is the base of the green stock that I chose. This is what they have as the swivel base. I do recommend that if you have something that's going to stay in one spot and you just want to be able to rotate it, it moves very nicely and it has holes for the water just to drain right on through. So that is a great feature for this item. Um, I can grow some of my smaller leafy things. I have lemon balm, chives, rocket salad. Um, I'm gonna put some microgreens in here. A couple little pockets here. We have our spinach, um, some other just short lettuces that we have in here and a lot of spinach. We did put some more peppers down here because we have the taller ones on the bottom so we did keep some peppers but then we grew, grew some romaine since it's larger lettuce as well. I like that we could just come out know that this is our salad one and like what we need for dinner and it's just right there. Um, very convenient. We don't have to bend down. We don't have as many bugs crawling all over it, and it's very easy that way. So I can't wait to see these grow. I planted all of this about, we got it about June 18th. So it's been growing for about two weeks now, and you'll see that uh, I did do most of this from seed. And you can see that they are starting to come up now. This is the other accessory that we got, and it's basically a a rack that can come around the the base or come around the outer edge of this. Some people are growing cucumbers or more viney vegetables and when you do that you need to add some support, some beans, different things like that. So this is going to be your support. When it's done it's going to look like that kind of pattern and I'll show you what you do with that. And you can put this on any row you want anywhere you just want to have to take them apart before you do it since we are not using it I'm just going to show you on the top row um, in the divots right there you're going to have this piece here you just put it right here in the pocket and it locks on right there I've already got a couple of them going and then on the outer ones you have a little hole right there and basically you're just going to put it in like an L bring it down and it clips in when you have that clipped Put it around the outer side right here, and you'll, and then you can see that it'll come out. It does take up more space, so you have to realize if you're going to have those viney vegetables and you have them growing out here, if the vines extend anywhere, or if you have your fruit or veggies hanging off, you want to plan for that much space, you know, because it's it's going to take up that much space. We personally are not using it right now. The great thing is, since it did come as the accessory and we have the peppers over on that one, we might go ahead and just put it on that green stock over there. So I do like this little feature. Like I said, this is called a bundle kit and it's on the website. Again, you have three of the larger bases, three of the leaf bases. You actually get the base of your choice down on the bottom and then you get an accessory as well. So I, all right, that's what I think. The uh, original green stock is over there. This is the combination um, leaf green stock. I enjoy them both and I definitely am going to give them two thumbs up. I'll put a link down below if you want to use that link. It, it takes you directly to their site and it is, it's, it's a referral link through me. So if you order through there, you will get $10 off your order. So. Um, if it's something you're interested, if you have any questions, put your comments down below. I can't rave enough about this. It's very easy, very compact, but you get so much stuff on there. If you want to take a look at some of my past videos, you can see how I actually put that one together and um, how I planted it and everything. So again, two thumbs up on the green stocks.